So if you have collection one, collection two, you can even change collection one and collection two documents concurrently. They are serialized. There is one global lock. Again, that was the first, first version because it's a, a single database lock. In version two, they made it a collection level lock, which is still not good, right? It's, it's, it's for, the, for, for the SQL people, it's like saying a, a table lock. Imagine you have a table of a million row and you want to insert a row in the table and then you want to update another row in, this, in the same table. Has nothing to do with each other, right? Imagine these are blocked. Yes, it was blocked. And it, if you're using a mem map, this is still the case. One collection, which is deprecated, by the way, v1 is deprecated. Now, one collection is a, co is a pair collection lock. So now, sure, you can do a concurrent write on two different collections, right, without blocking. But now, if you're updating the same document, that's a problem, right? So then it became very challenging to manage the storage engine. So what MongoDB did is, as you know what, let's just acquire this Wire Tiger storage engine. Very, very popular, very uh, efficient storage engine. So what they did is they, MongoDB just, just scrapped this and they bought a storage engine out of the box. This has become the what we call Wire Tiger, Wired Tiger.